हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू वांट मी टू सॉल्व सच मोर प्रॉब्लम्स नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट टू मैन आर स्लाइडिंग 100 के जी क्रेट अप एन इनक्लाइन इफ द लोअर मैन पुश इज हॉरिजेंटली विद फोर्स ऑफ फाइव न्यूटन एंड इफ द कोफिश ऑफ कानेटिक फ्रिक्शन इज पॉइंट फोर जीरो डिटरमाइन द टेंशन टी विच द अपर मेन मस्ट एक्सर्ट इन द रोप टू मेनटेन मोशन ऑफ द क्रेट राइट सो दिस पर्सन इज अप्लाइंग फाइव हंड्रेड न्यूटन फोर्स राइट सो इफ आई रिप्रेजेंट द फोर्स अप्लाइड बाई दिस पर्सन राइट सो दिस फोर्स इज एक्टिंग इन दॉरिजेंटल डायरेक्शन एंड इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड इज फाइव हंड्रेड राइट सो आई विल राइट दिस इज फाइव हंड्रेड न्यूटन्स राइट and so we are required to determine the tension with which this person is pulling the crate right so that the motion is maintained right so let's say that this is the tension in this cable right so from this statement that to maintain the motion we can conclude that still the crate is moving with equilibrium right this means that the crate is moving with constant velocity it's not accelerating right so if it's not accelerating still the system is in equilibrium right so now we can uh, see that the weight of this uh, crate will be acting vertically downward so it weight will be acting vertically downward like this and the normal force the surface will apply the normal force in the upward direction that is uh, perpendicular to this surface right so this will be that normal force this is the weight and weight is 100 times 9.81 so this is 981 newtons right and if the crate is moving in the upward direction so the kinetic friction will be acting in the downward direction right so this will be the kinetic friction right and it's this will be fk and fk will be equal to mu k n right so we can write that this is mu k n and mu k is given this is 0.4 so i will write that this will be 0.4 n right so here this friction force will be equal to 0.4 n right and as we can see that this incline is uh, making 30 degrees with the horizontal right so now if if we consider the x and y axis is like this let's say if this is my positive x and positive y direction x axis is parallel with the surface of the incline right so let me isolate this as a free body diagram so this will be our free body diagram so now if i draw a if we need to resolve all these forces along this x and y axis right this is our x and y axis right if i draw a line parallel to the line of action of this n force right so this line will be perpendicular to the surface right so this will be the y axis right and if i extend the line of action of this weight right if i extend the line of action of this weight so then this line will be perpendicular to horizontal right if i draw that inclined surface here right let me draw that inclined surface here so this angle is 30 degrees and the line of action of this 981 newton is perpendicular with this line with this horizontal line and this y axis is perpendicular with this line right so if here we have 30 degrees then this angle is also 30 degrees right this angle is 30 degrees now if i draw a horizontal line here that is uh, sorry a line which is parallel to the to this plane right so this means that if this line which is parallel to this line is making 30 degrees with the horizontal so then this 500 newton force is also making 30 degree with the surface right with the surf with the plane surface right so we can resolve this 500 newton force into its components so it will have one component should be acting in this direction that is in the positive x direction this one is the cos component and it will have one component should be acting vertically downward like this so this one will be the sine component right and similarly if i draw again line parallel to that uh, inclined plane sir in this angle is th this angle is given this is 15 degrees right so this is 15 so we can resolve this uh, this tension into its components as well right so it will have two components right so it will have one component will be acting in this direction this one will be the cos component and it will have one component will be acting vertically upward like this this one will be the sine component right 
So now if I apply the equilibrium condition, that is the summation of forces along x equals to 0. So we have to add up all the components that are acting along the x-axis, right? So now as we can see that this component, this is 500 cos of 30 degrees. This is acting in the positive x direction, right? This one. Similarly, uh, this component is acting in the negative x direction and this is the sine component of the weight. So this is minus 981 sine of 30 degrees. Similarly, this 0.4, new, uh, 0.4 n is acting in the negative x direction. So we will write minus 0 0.4 n. And this component, the cos component of this t is acting in the positive x direction. So I will write plus t cos of 15 degrees and this is equal to 0. This is minus 57, right? So this is minus 57.49. This is minus 0 0.4 n and cos of 15. Let me find cos of 15. So cos of 15. This is 0 0.966, right? So this is 0 0.966 t and this is equal to 0. If we bring this to the other side of equation, so this will become plus, right? So this will be plus 57.49. So this is equation 1, since in this equation we have two unknowns. This is equation 1. Now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0, so now we will add up all the components along the y-axis, right? So now as we can see that this n is acting in the positive y direction, so I will write plus n, right? Uh, similarly, this cos component of 981 is acting in the negative direction, so I will write minus 981 cos of 30 degrees. Similarly, this component, this is the sine component of 500 newtons, it is acting in the negative y direction, so I will write minus 500 sine of 30 degrees. And similarly, this component is acting in the positive x direction, so I will write plus, and this is t sine of 30 degrees, sine of 15 degrees, sorry, this t is making 15 degree angle with this line, right? So this is t sine of 15 and this will be equal to 0. So now we can simplify this. I will write this n sine of 15, sine of 15. This is 0.259, right? So I will write plus 0.259t, right? I wrote this term here, right? And now I will simplify both of these, right? So this is So this is minus 1099, right? So we can write that this is minus 1100 approximately, right? And this is equal to 0. And if we bring this to the other side of equation, so this will become positive. Now if I multiply this whole equation with 0.4, right? So this will become 0.4n plus 0 0.4 into 0 0.259t equals to 0 0.4 into 1100. So let's say that this is our equation 2. So now if I add equation 1 is equation 2 since we have two equations and two unknowns. So we have to eliminate uh, one of the unknown, right? So if I add equation 1 with equation 2, so I will write equation 1. So this is equation 1 plus 0 0.966 t equals to 57.49. So if we add both of these equations, this will cancel out, we will be left with this, right? So if I simplify this, so this is a 0 0.4 into 259, 0 0.259 uh, plus 0 0.966. So this is equal to 1.0696, right? So we can say that this is one point. 0696t. Similarly, we can add uh, both of these as well. This will be 0 0.4 into 1100 plus 57.49. This is 497.49. 497.49. So, t is equal to 497.49 divided by 1.0696. So we will divide this answer by 1.0696.
So, this is approximately equal to 465 newtons, right. So, this T is equal to 465 newtons, right. So, if this man pulls the crate with uh, 465 newtons with an angle of 15 degrees, right. So, they will be able to maintain the motion of the crate up the incline. So, I hope you people would have understood uh, this particular problem. Kindly like this video if this uh, helps in your learning. Also subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet.